one of the people in the chat, Jamar, asked, what was your best experience slash moment in the league? Oh, man. Oh, man. It was it was short, bro, but I got a few, man. Like, looking back on it, um, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't grasp the moment. Like I want, like I, obviously, hindsight is twenty twenty. So when I first got to the league, bro, when I first got drafted, I got drafted to a team that basically, I'll say the names and shit. Monty Williams, um, he didn't want to draft me. Dale Demps, the GM, he wanted to draft me. So Dale Demps drafted me anyway. So when I got to New Orleans, I just felt immediately that that Monty Williams didn't like me. It was like more, it was more, it was more so like it was it was past that rookie bullshit that they say. Like I don't like rookies. He just didn't like me. Like I didn't get a chance. So I got sent overseas. I came back home. I killed in I killed in the D League. I averaged 30 as a, a rookie. After the season, well shit, during the season, I'm trying to, I'm gonna make this story short but i average 30 drew holiday breaks his leg i have no only team that can call me up is new orleans because they got my rights they don't call me up so being that i'm poor <laughs> i got a daughter on the way i have to go overseas so i go overseas i come back i go to new orleans to work out for a little stint like two three weeks oh shit that year i played the all-star game in the g league in new orleans and i didn't speak to one person from the pelicans no one came to see me i had 35 points nobody came to see me from the pelicans so fast forward i went out there for a couple weeks and monty williams still giving me that same energy like i don't know what i don't know what i did to this man so that summer that summer comes i get traded back to philly so i go through these these little things i go through these injuries i i i, I tear my achilles before I got a chance to actually play. But that next year, I tore my groin. This this ain't been out in the public, but I got cleared from my Achilles and I tore my groin um, in 2015. So I had to have surgery again. And uh, I played summer league with a torn groin. But that rehab for my groin, in this moment, they drafted, they drafted Joel Embiid in 2014, Jaleel Okafor in 2015. I was in that. I was in there with those guys, Christian Wood. So that year it was me, Isaiah Cannon, Kendon Marshall, Tony Roden, and TJ McConnell. I got cut because I wasn't healthy, but TJ McConnell made that team. And you see the career TJ McConnell had. But the biggest part of that was not knowing that I should have, I should have, I ain't going to say I ain't take it serious, but I should have. I should have took it more serious and like honed in to the fact that I could have really jump started my career in, in Philly and and actually made a name for myself in the league. Um, Cause I I didn't attack my my groin injury like I attacked my Achilles. Like I kind of yeah. I just I kind of was comfortable being that I thought I was better than everybody. I thought I I was for sure better than Kendall Marshall, um, for sure better than Isaiah Cannon and T.J. McConnell, but. Not knowing how none of that stuff works, I'm thinking I'm good. Like I messed up. I got an apartment out there before my contract was guaranteed. Everything like it. I I was I ain't gonna say it was confidence or cockiness. It was more ignorance than anything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So in hindsight, that was one. That's I'm I'm gonna call it a bright spot only because it definitely shaped me into the pro that I I became. Like so on and so forth after that because i ended up getting back to the league so like the real bright spot of it of me getting back to the league was um how i got back the second time because in 2016 a year later um i played summer league i played well and the spot that they had they traded for a point guard while i was there so at that point i played well i feel like i played the best on i was on portland i played the best and I didn't get a job offer from nowhere after summer league. Nowhere in the world. Nowhere in the world I, I got an offer. So, and like October, November, November, I got offered from a team in Croatia. They offered me a one month contract. They offered me a one month contract, and it was only like ten thousand dollars, bro. A tryout month, basically. Mm. It was probably the most humbling. <laughs> it probably was the most humbling thing I had to date. And um. Yeah, so I ended up going out there and uh, 
first game I had like 12. And then uh second game I played in the Euro Cup. I had like 32 points. And just seeing how the team was like, they said they had no money. So I was seeing how the team switched up. And mind you, I'm a little, my confidence is a little shaky at the time. Cause I'm like, bro, these niggas only gave me 10K, bro. Like mm-hmm. there ain't no money. Um, time goes on, next game, 28, next game, 38, next game, 34. I see the team get to, oh, yeah, man. Like, you, they actually, my brother, like, yo, you think he'll stay? Like, we got 60K a, a month, 75,000 a month. Like, and then they start upgrading me in his room, like, sweets. And I'm like, at that point, I'm like, yeah, man, I'm getting my, I'm back, bro. Like, I'm, I'm straight. So my agent hit me with an opportunity saying, like, JJ Barea just tore his calf or something like that. Like, you can yeah. go play for the G League team there and you can get, uh, get a chance to get back in there. So I went to the league. I ended up doing my thing for two weeks, bro, and I got called up. So the bright spot of this whole situation I'm telling you about, April of 2016, I went to Dallas to watch the Thunder versus uh, the Mavericks in the playoffs. And my agent somehow got me to meet with Donnie Nelson, the GM. I went to the locker room, got to see everything. And I don't know why he had me take a picture. Like, he had me take a picture like mm-hmm. with a jersey in, in the locker room. I don't know why my agent said some funny shit like, uh, yeah, man, hopefully you'll be wearing one of these one day. Seven months later, bro, Donnie, Donnie Nelson calls me like, bro, you on the Mavs type shit. That, that, that was easily the, the, the craziest and the biggest bright spot of making touching the league is actually getting back in there healthy mm-hmm. and being able to play and, um, getting the opportunity to wear that 55 on that jersey, bro. It was That's easily the biggest bright spot outside of me getting drafted, obviously. But that was the bright spot, just knowing how that year went, or the two years went, and then be able to, to you know, that full circle moment of being in the locker room and then signing. That's probably the biggest bright spot from then. 